Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on converting from a recurring decimal where some digits don't recur to a fraction. So we've got these two examples here, 0.34 recurring as we'd say, I'll explain what that means in a second, and 0.5401 recurring. Now I've stolen these notes from my previous video on this and this explains what steps we carry out to solve each of these problems. So the first step is to write each number as x with the repeated digits. So we're going to call this x and we're going to write it out with the repeated digits. Now what does this recurring dot mean here? That just means that you're going to repeat that particular digit there. And if there's only one dot here rather than two like here, we just repeat that digit again and again. So it's 0 0.3444444. So let's write out the four just a few times just to show that it's repeating forever. And then what's step two? We want to work out how often the digits repeat. And we times by 10 or 100 as appropriate. So how often does this digit repeat? Well, it repeats every one digit. It's just the four that's repeating. So it's repeating every one digit. Now, if it repeats every one digit, we times both sides of the equation by 10. If it repeats every two digits, we times both sides by 100. Basically, if it's one digit that repeats, then we have one zero in what we're timesing by. Yeah? So we're going to times both sides of the equation by 10. So this becomes 10x. And if we multiply this by 10, the decimal point moves one place to the right, so it's going to be 3.44444. And as per my advice before, make sure these decimal points line up, otherwise it's going to make the next step more difficult. So we've got 3.44444. And the next step is to subtract these equations. So I'm going to do the second equation minus the first equation. What's 10x minus x? Well, 10 lots of x minus 1 lot of x is 9 lots of x. And then we do this minus this. Can you see that most of these digits, when you subtract them, it's going to become zero? Because look, 4 minus 4 is 0, 4 minus 4 is 0, 4 minus 4 is 0. All of this is going to be wiped out where the digits are completely the same, just leaving 3.4 minus 0.3. So let's cross these out where the digits are exactly the same. 3.4 minus 0.3 is just 3.1. And the final step is to divide. We've got 9x at the moment, but we want to work out what x is, because x is the original number. x is a 0 0.34 recurring, which is what we've got here. So we need to get rid of that times by 9, so we divide both sides by 9. So 9x divided by 9 is just x, it gets rid of the times by 9. And then we're going to have 3.1 over 9. Now at the moment this is not a nice answer, because we don't like decimals in fractions. Now, what could we do to the top and bottom of the fraction? Well, as long as we times by the same number, it's going to be an equivalent fraction. So if we multiply top and bottom by 10, that's going to get rid of this decimal point, because 3.1 times by 10 is just 31. And 9 times 10 is 90. Now, this fraction doesn't simplify any further, so that is the final answer. Let's just check that on our calculator. If we do 31 divided by 90 and press the SD key, we get 0 0.3444444, which is right. That's exactly what we've got there. So that was correct. What about this second one? This is a bit harder. So step one, write out each number with the repeated digits and as x. So x equals 0 0.5401. Now, how does the repetition work? Well, as soon as we get to that second dot, we go back to the first dot. In this case, if we only had one dot, we just kind of go back to itself. So it's 0 0.3444. Four, four. Whereas here, we go 0 0.5401, 401, 401. We go back to the first dot each time we reach the second. So let's write out the 401, 401, 401, etc. With, with the 401 repeating. Step two, work out how often the digits repeat. Well, can you see it's the 401 that's repeating? So 401, 401, 401. And that's repeating every three digits. So we therefore multiply both sides of the equation by a thousand, noting a thousand has three zeros in it corresponding to the three digits that are repeating here. So if we times this by a thousand, it's going to move the decimal point three times, one, two, three. It's 540.1401. So let's write that 540. Point one four zero one four zero one, and a couple of things to note. Remember, these decimal points should line up, and your digits sh here should line up as well. So, last few steps: we subtract a thousand x minus x is nine 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 x, and then when we subtract these, look, notice four minus four that's going to be zero. One minus one at zero. These line up 
So that's going to cancel because they're the same, leaving just 540.1 minus 0 0.5. That's 539.6. And then finally, we divide. So we've got 999x, but we just want x. So we have to divide both sides of the equation by 999. So we get 539.6 over 999. And as before, we don't like that decimal there, so we're going to multiply it top and bottom of this fraction by 10. So that becomes 5396 over, and this becomes 9990. For some reason, students often put 9999. Um, I think just because they accidentally just repeat that digit rather than times it by 10, we're just putting a zero on the end. And I must admit, I can't be bothered to uh, simplify this myself, so I'm just going to shove it into a calculator. So 5396 over 9990, and that simplifies to, well, let's just divide the top and bottom by 2 to get that, and that doesn't simplify any further. If we press the SD key to check, I do indeed get 0 0.5401401401. So this answer is correct.